People who have been to a wedding where someone objected to the marriage, what was their reason? The wife objected because she had just found out her soon to be husband had been sleeping with her sister for the past 8 years despite the two of them having two kids. At my half sister's wedding, when they got to the objection part her mother, same dad different mum, leant across to another family member and whispered, yeah, he isn't good enough for her. The officer stopped the wedding and asked her to speak up, saying it's a legal part to the wedding and if she has an objection then please state it loud enough to hear. Sister's mum laughed it off and sat down red faced while I glared evils into the back of this woman's head. My sister is awesome and the guy she's with makes her super happy. Bonus awkward points, in his speech he thanked sister's mother for accepting him into the family and how happy he was to have another mum. Both his parents have died. Oof. From me. I wasn't there, but an old friend told me about a wedding he attended years ago. When it came time for the objection part, a voice in the back yells. She sucked my D like 30 minutes ago. Bride bursts into tears. Groom just walks away. Probably does not count, but still worth mentioning. Wedding. Jewish. Final moments. And once the marriage was final the bride straight up runs to the crowd and says I'm divorcing my husband for sleeping with my sister. Bride found out about the cheating, but was smart and got back at her sister worse than ever. Forgive my lack of Jewish knowledge, but we found out that something in the Jewish faith. Once you're married the bride or groom cannot marry or remarry someone related to the previous wife or something like that. So this bride not only publicly humiliated him and her sister by outing them, but sealed the fact that they can never ever be together. I was at a friend's wedding when his mother got up during the vows and said objection. Everyone stared at her in confusion while she stood there staring at his soon to be wife. His mother then proceeded to say, I don't want my baby being with that rat bastard for the rest of his life. Everyone just kind of sat there looking confused and shocked. Her son slash my friend looked at her with a beat red face and ran out of the church we were in. I guess he felt the same way, but didn't want to agree. Long story short the bride ended up calling the wedding off and they broke up. Didn't get a slice of cake. Good times. This happened a couple of years ago. A work slash social friend of mine was getting married to a guy she had previously dated, but broke off the relationship cause one night he was drunk and tried to strangle her. They were apart for a couple of years. He supposedly cleaned up and then started dating again. One night, we three were at a bar, and my friend has to go to the restroom. As soon as she leaves the table, he nudges my elbow, and tells me how loose her pussy is, and that it's wrecked and stuff. I'm a guy. I told him. She loves you man. Don't talk about my friend like that. It's disrespectful, and it'll end with me kicking your ass. He tells me. F you. My friend comes back to the table, and realizes there's enough tension, to cut with a knife. I gave my friend a kiss on the cheek, and called it a night. She called me later that evening, and asked what happened. I gave it to her straight. I could hear her crying on the other end. She kept on dating this toxic POS. A few months later, the wedding announcements were sent. I was just like, OF. One night, I'm out on a date, who becomes my future wife, at a nice Italian restaurant, when I see Mr. Toxic sitting at the bar kissing the neck of some woman who isn't my friend. This was about a week and a half before the wedding. I whip out the phone and start filming. I got a good shot of him grabbing this lady's breast and putting his hand up her skirt with her slapping his hand off. My future wife is like, WTF are you doing? I quietly explain the situation. After I got enough evidence, he sees me, comes over to the table and asks me what I'm doing there. I tell him that I'm doing what people do when they go to a restaurant. He asked me how long I was there, I said that we were just seated. He's like, okay, well I was just getting a drink, and I'm on my way home. I told him to drive safely. He walks out, the woman at the bar, gets this confused look on her face, and then runs after him. After a life changing fabulous date, besides the previous stuff, I go over to my friend's house. Mr. Toxic's car isn't there. I show my friend the video, tell her that I shot it hours ago, and she breaks down into a crying mess. I ask the question, you're not going to go through with the wedding are you? 
she tells me that all the reservations have been made, the church booked, the caterers paid, the photographer paid, yada yada. I'm like, who gives a shit? No one wanted to see her married to a cheater. She says she doesn't want to marry him, but she's obligated. I'm good friends with her father. He's a hulking 6 feet 4 inches 300 pounds. Holly Ryder with a handlebar mustache. I pay him a visit. I show him the video. He turns red. Veins start showing up on his forehead. His hands start opening and closing in clenches. He says. A word that sounds like mother ducker. I explain to him how his daughter feels obligated. He gives me a bear hug that just about breaks my back. He lets me go. I see he's crying profusely. He asks me if I could send him the video. I'm like, of course. The next day my friend's dad calls me up and tells me that the wedding is going to now be a dodging a bullet ceremony with maybe an ass kicking for the finale. I told him that I would be more than happy to attend. My friend called me up and thanked me. She said that her dad dropped by and told her that he would not allow her to marry him. It was a load off her back. So we went over Mr. Toxic's guest list. No family, just friends. Perfect. The day of the ceremony, dad had a large flat screen TV plugged in on the dais. The preacher was warned I guess, cause dad walked his daughter down the aisle, and when they got to the end, the preacher turned around and walked out. Mr. Toxic didn't notice, but he reached out for my friend's hand and her dad loudly said, no effing way in this universe. Then the flat screen with surround sound came on. There it was for everyone to see, with my future wife saying, WTF are you doing? And my whole explanation afterwards. Mr. Toxic was pasty white and sweating profusely. He did the perp walk down the center aisle, caught my eye with me giving him the finger too. I heard a dude say, no effing way. Mr. Toxic exits and dad says, let's party. That was it. We had a great night. There were a couple times that my friend broke down crying. But overall she danced her ass off and laughed a lot. About 6 months later, she met the man of her dreams. Just a really fantastic guy. The wedding is this September. The groom's father objected and said that he couldn't just stand by and watch because he had proof that she was just using him so she could pay off her debts. From what I heard, a person in her group chat got into a big fight with her on the day of the wedding and ended up sending the groom's father a bunch of screenshots of the bride admitting that she was planning on divorcing him after he paid off all her student debts and bought a house so that she could get it in a divorce. The bride tried to deny it, but I guess the groom had suspicions that she was just using him and after he saw the proof he called the wedding off. My friend, who invited me as her plus one was super embarrassed, but I was thoroughly entertained. Not exactly an objection, but I worked as a photographer at a wedding chapel on the Vegas Strip. We had a young Chinese couple come in with their friends and get married. The minister did his normal speech, but when it came down to the vows I could tell something was wrong. The groom kept putting the ring on the bride's finger and taking it off hesitantly. This went on for a few uncomfortable minutes. At one point the groom asked the bride if there was someone else, and she nodded her head. After a couple more awkward moments the minister explained that if he did not pronounce them man and wife it wouldn't be legal. They decided not to get married. Their friends still bought the DVD though. That was one of my favorite moments working there. Glad you asked. I try to tell this story to everyone I can. My cousin had a rather extravagant wedding at an upscale golf course. I didn't really want to go, because I knew he had hooked up with a friend in our group, after he was engaged to the bride. But family pressure, and an open bar persuaded me, and I'm damn glad I went. I knew it was going to be good when our friend he cheated with was there. He's not the smartest man. Anyway, we have a few drinks at the bar and head to our seats for the ceremony. Apparently they hit her pretty hard, because at the moment of truth she yells. I object your honor, that man's dick is too small to satisfy, he is unfit for marriage. Like it was a goddamn court case. Everyone went silent for a second, and then I looked over at my buddy, and we burst out laughing our asses off. Bride was pissed, slapped groom, they both cried, but after a brief break in conversation they decided to go through with it. Unsurprisingly they are getting divorced after a solid 2 year marriage. My good friend's wedding video is awesome. 
a big thunderstorm blew up during the ceremony, and just as the minister asked, does anybody have any objections? Lightning strikes the church with a tremendous kaboom and all the lights go out. There's some nervous laughter, and the minister says. That doesn't count, and the ceremony continued. Sadly no video was linked for the last post, so I suspect shenanigans. Doesn't matter though, still a good story. That's it for today my dudes and dudettes, do all the YouTube things, and take care of each other in the comments.